Okay, so um, Pascal's principle describes hydraulics. If the fluid is non-compressible, the pressure applied through the fluid is transmitted throughout the fluid undiminished. That means that the pressure at any point inside this closed fluid, closed off fluid, um, is the same no matter where you are inside the hose. So like if I draw this really awful drawing here, but I'm gonna draw like the end of a hose, kinda. So if this fluid is contained, completely contained inside this closed apparatus, the point of me drawing this bizarre looking thing was just to show you a closed fluid that goes from one area to another. Okay, um, hi, this is the way um, hydraulics work. Don't be fooled. When you put your little foot on the gap, on the brake pedal, sorry, and stop that big machine that you're driving, that little force you're applying to that little brake pedal is not enough to stop it. Okay? <laughs> but it's the magic of hydraulics that takes that small force that you apply and translates it, translates it into a big force that can stop the car to actually pinch those uh, calipers. All right, so the force on this bigger, larger area down here, so I'm trying to draw a cross-sectional area, um, applies a force to the fluid, pardon me, a pressure to the fluid, and that pressure is transmitted throughout this closed fluid, undiminished in all directions. And it's not a domino effect, it's, it's an immediate effect. So it's like when you pull a soda out of the convenience store freezer, refrigerator thing, and all of them go forward. Okay, so it's as soon as there is a force applied to the end, all of the particles inside this fluid immediately experience that pressure as if that force was applied to that particle itself. So it's not one after another, it is everything experiences the pressure at that moment. So as soon as you apply a force on this end, that pressure is applied to everything inside. And, and if it's non-compressible, that means that the molecules can't just take up that force and get closer to each other. They are non-compressible. You cannot move the shape or change the shape of the molecules. We can't squish them together any closer. And most of the time this is gonna be a liquid because air is pretty easily compressible. So here goes the pressure all the way through until it's finally the same P is applied to the other end and we get force two out over here. Now, if the force pressure is the same no matter where you are, P is P and pressure is force per area then F1 over A1 is F2 over A2, and that is Pascal's principle in equation form.